Well, it's that time of the month again. Thanks for joining me, Scorpio. It's April 2018. Didichi here from astrology.com.au. It's nice to see the placement of Venus, uh, this transit into your seventh house of marital affairs, partnerships. You've probably been waiting for this for a while. You know, sometimes you just don't feel attractive or, you know, you're not getting the response you want from people. This transit of Venus, the ruler of the seventh house of Taurus, transiting in this area, and it's moving through pretty quickly. It's going to uh, do its thing here uh, from the 1st up until the 25th, after which point it moves. But this is a great period for uh, conciliatory actions. In other words, if you've been feeling distant, somewhat troubled by uh, your relationships, <clears throat> and that's uh, in part because of what I mentioned last month, the movement of Venus into that right angle of uh, Mars and then Saturn. Um, those two planets now are also in uh, conjunction. But that Venus has moved out of the orb of that very challenging, frustrating aspect. And I dare say you're feeling just a lot lighter as a result of that. I mean, you're still not out of the woods there in terms of the relationships, but that's definitely one transit that uh, yeah, we look forward to when we're giving an assessment of the horoscope. Uh, and even though you have that Mars-Saturn, Mars being one of the ruling planets of Scorpio with Saturn, um, it is in the, the third house, and this position, third, sixth, uh, 11th houses are very, very nice positions for what we call the malefic planets. So this conjunction actually works well for you. Uh, it does have some issues there in terms of the communications. You, you're a little bit hard, but fortunately for Venus, that's going to soften that and give you the response you want. This month being nice to people will probably work a lot better. You have retrograde Mercury in your sixth house, uh, and this is where the challenges may happen directly in your working environment. And Mercury is younger people. So you may be a little bit annoyed, a little bit uh, short of patience with uh, those people that you're dealing with in a workplace context. Um, and this retrogression, the retrograde Mercury, occurs up until the 15th of the month. So what that tells us is that um, try as hard as you will to get on top of the issues that you, you see before you, the retrograde movement may make it a little difficult for you to get your point across. That's that frustrating influence of Mars and Saturn. No shortage of uh, courage at this time to try new things, big and bold things. In fact, your vision is quite strong. That's shown by the North Node transiting your career sector. That's, that's in a strange way powerful but you may feel as still as if um, you're not realizing what you want. It, Yana, don't kick, please. My daughter's here. I'm just getting a little distracted. Um, you may still feel as if there's a bit of a shadow cast over your work, even though you've got the courage and the will and the desire to, to actually go for something big at this time. Maybe wait till the middle of the month, especially if there's any sort of contractual arrangements for some of you watching. Uh, you need to be clear on uh, the terms and conditions of that. And uh, the, the good thing is that your workplace conditions, if they are part of what you are concerned about this month, uh, will improve at that point. Number one, because Mercury will go direct. And number two, because the new moon on the 16th, the day after, Mercury goes direct, is also in this very same place. Now, that could mean reconciliation with uh, those you work with. It can mean um, an improvement in your health. It shows that you may have had to go over some old ground in terms of what it is that's causing your discomfort physically. And by looking at those sort of things in the first couple of weeks of the month, you're going to get a much, much better result towards the end. It's also got to do with debts. 
So the way you're managing your finances may need to be uh, looked at as well under this uh, retrograde transit of Mercury. Once you understand clearly how you're managing your money, where it's going, what needs to be cut back on, uh, then you'll start to see that forward motion of Mercury on the 15th, bringing with it some really, really good results in that sense. What else do we have there for you? We see uh, Venus moving uh, on the 25th to your 8th house. That has a lot to do with intimacy and the deepening your self-awareness. But also that may happen as a consequence of the nature of the relationships you're having now. If you're married, there may be a shift in the way you and your partner perceive each other. We can extend this to business as well because it's the house of shared resources. But I've just got an intuition here that for you, Scorpio, this has more to do with reconciliation in terms of your most intimate relationships, as we indicated at the outset. The very last day of the month is another full moon. That takes place um, in the sign of Scorpio, your sun sign. And that again is going to showcase the strength of your relationships with the sun at that point being in your seventh house of marriage and the moon in your uh, sun sign. So that's a very powerful uh, light on your emotional nature, the character of Scorpio, and also that push to share more of your feelings, which was also tied in with that Venus moving through your eighth house. Please join me next month. In the meantime, I always finish up uh, by reminding you to take a look, please, at astrology.com.au. There's a lot more information there that can yeah, add a little bit more weight to what we've been talking about here today. And I look forward to seeing you same time here next month. Bye-bye now.